Okay, here's my uh, video response to uh, watching uh, those uh, um, two videos for ELL students in math. Um, first of all, I thought it was pretty cool uh, to watch the kids uh, learning math in, in another language. Um, it really showed how how uh, engaged and focused they can be when the math, when they are not just uh, sitting there trying to understand the language the entire time. Uh, it helped them, like I said, focus on the math. Uh, for myself, I found it um, hard uh, just to concentrate on the math and what he was trying to teach because, you know, obviously I don't speak Spanish, so I couldn't understand uh, what he was saying at all. Uh, I can imagine that this would be what it would like in, in reverse when the ELL student is in my classroom and we're speaking just in English. Um, the similarities and differences in the video. Um, similarities, I thought that both uh, videos, the students were very engaged um, with what was going on. Again, I believe it's because it was in Spanish and they could think about the math and not the uh, not the language. Uh, the differences in the video, as far as I could tell, was in the first video uh, they se seemed to be speaking with the teacher a whole lot, whereas in the second video, I believe they were uh, speaking with each other. Uh, students did uh, much more. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Uh, one of the language moves I use in my classroom a lot is the uh, repeat uh, language move. Um, I, I use it all the time, honestly. Um, unfortunately, maybe, I don't know if I'm using it in the way of, of a language move to support understanding of math. I use it more in the way that I try to uh, catch my kids not paying attention so that hopefully they'll they'll uh, pay attention next time instead of sitting there and just, um... Yeah, I don't know what you just said, you know, and it's kind of embarrassing. So I use the repeat language move a lot in, in that way. Um, thanks for listening. This was Mike Hammond.